Hello everyone, this is me, Sushmita, your new teacher and welcome to Smita's Chemistry. Here I am with you a lot of understanding, explanations and suggestions regarding the chapter uh, Carbon and Compounds which is the most important and difficult chapter for class 10 which you need to understand for the further studies for class 11th and 12th. Go through it, understand the concept. Uh, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. After subscribing, please press the bell icon button and make the video forward. And do not forget to share too. Let's start the chapter. <coughs> Carbon. Carbon and its compounds. Suppose starting of the day when we get up early in the morning, right? we come across a number of substances that we use in our daily life okay suppose we sip a cup of tea okay number one is sugar it is a substance number two petrol that is used in vehicles number three clothes number four we go to school, we sit on tables, chair that is made up of wood. Okay. Number five, we ourselves, the human body. Okay. The substances which I have written as an example in the chapter, all the substances, they contain sugar in them. For example, like sugar, it is also made up of carbon like C6, H12, O6. In the same way, petrol, it contains methane and that formula is CH4 which contains carbon. In the same way, the fibers which are converted into fa fabric that is used to make cloths, it is consisting of carbon. Wood that we uh, go to school, when we reach the school, we sit on the ta tables, benches, etc. that is made up of wood. Okay, it too also contains carbon. Okay, human body. Human bodies are considered as hydrocarbon bodies. Okay, moving further of the chapter, what we are going to discuss and study, it is about, we are going to study about the chemical reactions and the combinations that takes place in carbon. Let's go for further studies. Suppose if we consider carbon as an element, Right. Suppose if we consider carbon as a uh, specific element, let us first take <coughs> its atomic number. Okay. Let us first take carbon and understand its construction. The symbol of carbon is C and its atomic number is, can anyone? It's 6. So, its electronic configuration becomes 2 comma 4 is that clear now so it will be having the shells that is the k and the l shells there will be two number of electrons in the k shell and four number of electrons in the l cell as we know that the last cell is always known as the valence cell and how many number of electrons do the last cell contains? That contains four number of electrons. Is it or not? Therefore, according to the octet rule, what does carbon needs to do? According to satisfy the octet rule, what should be the valency of carbon? Either carbon should do two different things. That is losing and accepting so as to attire the octet rule and to make its valency what carbon should do it should lose its electron that is C plus 4E minus C4 minus that means here what it should do it should lose the electrons four number of electrons okay uh, or else it should accept it that is c 4 plus plus 4 e minus but what happens in such a case carbon is such a small element that 
okay when it consists of four number of electrons over here and while sharing the four number of electrons the repulsion that is being created in between the electrons is more so here this is not possible losing when it is losing one one electron the repulsion becomes difficult it becomes more vigorous and whenever the electrons are closed in such a way that it also cannot accept another four electrons of other element because of the constant repulsion okay so what carbon needs to do it now can neither gain electrons nor it can share electrons now the question comes what should carbon do now carbon needs to follow another method that is called covalent bonding which in simple term states sharing of electrons okay what should carbon do it should do the sharing of electrons okay so now let's see how carbon is sharing its electron by covalent bonding as we are discussing that carbon it should share its four of its electron with another element okay what it needs to do it needs to share its electron with another element suppose this is carbon okay it is having four different electrons so as to attire this it needs to share at least four electrons whatever electron uh, element it may be we will be studying uh, further it needs to share its electron with the electrons of another element this is called and becomes four covalent bond having eight electrons share eight number of electrons share this is called tetravalency this is called what tetravalency the total sharing of the eight number of electrons is it called tetravalency which is considered as carbon is tetravalent in nature okay now moving to another property that is called the property of self combination okay or you can say the property of catenation self combination or the property of catenation okay this is i'm going to upload in my upcoming video the next phase i will be uploading each and every phase with a very little little details so that it may make your study more easier and the understanding more clear let me repeat it once again what we have discussed here carbon is an element which is present in all the substances okay and it forms a vast number of compounds okay its atomic number is 6 due to 6 its electronic configuration becomes 2 and 4 therefore its k shell consist of 2 electrons and l shell consist of 4 electrons okay which is a valence cell but when we go through the octet rule carbon is such an element which do not satisfy the octet rule so what should carbon do to follow the octet rule right now it is going to either lose the electrons or it should accept the electrons so carbon's element is so small that the element is so small that when it will be losing its electron it will disturb the repulsion of the nucleus or whenever it is accepting the electrons the repulsion becomes vigorous so what should carbon do now carbon do not have the capacity that neither it can gain the electrons nor it can share the electrons so what should carbon do carbon should follow the sharing of electrons that is called covalent bonding so as to attire a stability in it carbon what it is doing it is sharing its electrons with other different elements that is called covalent bonding when it is sharing four number of electrons and at a time the work is being done and attired by eight number of electrons 
that is called tetravalency therefore we say that tetravalent in nature please go through this small video this is the starting introduction of the chapter further we will be moving to the different properties and characters that is called the process of self combination and catenation but please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you see ya